Hey guys, we are in Auckland. We're in New Zealand. A lot of you guys have been asking for me to do a packing video to show you guys what I'm packing for the whole month that we're in New Zealand. And I was gonna try and get Steven to do it with me as well, but he was like, I'm literally bringing t-shirts, shorts, pants, jumpers, done. Jumpers. Jumpers! Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you would have seen that video last. If you don't understand this jumper reference, then you should see the video that we just did. But yes, today I'm gonna show you everything I'm packing. But how nice is our Airbnb, everyone, by the way? Like, look at this background. Like Steven just set up the camera and I was like, I want this to be my apartment. It is so nice. If you don't know much about New Zealand, you will know that they have every single type of weather. So we are here in the autumn time and it can go from a nice sunny day to a cold and rainy day. So I've tried to pack for that. We are also seeing half of our month is going to be spent like looking at cities and going to the beach. And then the other half will probably be hiking and exploring. So I've kind of packed for both those type of activities. Alrighty, so I'm going to be bringing these sandals then white walking shoes that well they kind of used to be white these have been worn a lot so these are going to be my more casual walking shoes and then if we're actually going and doing a big hike i'm going to be bringing my adidas runners so those are the three shoes that i bring i usually if i'm going on the plane i'll wear these and it means that they're not taking up much space in our bag all right for tops i've decided to bring two kind of nice button-up tops if you watch a lot of our videos you will know that i really love these type of style of t-shirts when we went to europe i literally just brought these type of tops but they're the ones that are really like kind of sheer and light material that button up at the front and then i usually tuck tuck them into the pants or the or the shorts that i'm wearing so i brought one that has all these floral kind of design on it and then another one i brought which is a little bit more basic that could probably go with any anything that i brought is this black and white button up so those are the two kind of like nicer lighter kind of more of like a warm day top and then i brought four t-shirts now the t-shirts i like to wear they're not the long ones that go around your hips i feel like my hips are a little bit too wide to wear those type of t-shirts so i like to wear cropped so I've brought four of them. Here is one. They're all kind of similar designs. So there's this like orangey pinky striped top. I really like stripes. You'll soon find out. This is a blue one, pretty similar, but you see how they crop. So they're not too long. I brought this gray one that says Brooklyn on it. And last one is this top here that says New York on it. And again, it is stripy. So these are all the t-shirts that I brought. And for pants, I have focused on jeans because it can get a little bit chillier here. For the jeans, I brought two. I brought a light pair and a dark pair because then I can mix and match with all the tops that I brought. One are these black jeans. If you've been watching the vlogs, if you ever see me in black jeans, these are the ones. I've been wearing them for probably a year and they haven't had a hole in it yet, which is lucky because they were only like $15. But they are, these are standard black jeans, but they do have like a little hole in the knee. And I kind of like that that look so I brought those and then for the light ones I actually got these from Target these are new and they've got like distressing in the leg here and then at the bottom they're all frayed which I think is a new look because I haven't seen that before and then when we went shopping every single jean had frayed at the end and I really liked it so yes a dark pair and a light pair and then I did bring one pair of shorts I'm not too sure if I'll wear them because I just don't think it's going to get that warm but I wanted to bring them just in case so I tried to choose the lightest pair I had which are these black pair here and they're super super light and flowy and these would go with any of the tops I brought as well so that's the shorts that I brought usually I travel with dresses but on this trip I decided instead of dresses I was going to go with jumpsuits I thought that they would work better with autumn days because a lot of the temperature is going to be around like 2021 20, so it's not that cold but I think it'd be a little bit cold for a dress so I actually brought three jumpsuits I've been getting really into jumpsuits at the moment I will show you them so one is one that you would have seen in previous vlogs I've worn this a lot so I got this from boohoo and hmm, how do I show this? So, wait, <laughs> how do I show jumpsuits, Steve? Yeah, just show the front. Okay, so it covers your shoulders. It has an open back and front, as you can see. And then again, it has the long pants there. <laughs> I don't yeah, know how to show good. jumpsuits. <laughs> So that's one. Another one which Cleo teased me because she said it was so similar to this one, but it's different. Guys, tell me if this is different. So again, it's blue and striped. I really like stripes and I really like blue, but it doesn't cover your shoulders. This is for like a warmer day. Yeah, so it goes like this and it kind of has like, I don't know how to show you these, it's hard. So there's like a frill at the front here. And then again, they go out into long pants. I'll link everything below if you guys do want to grab any of this stuff. Yes, and then my last one, this is the one that Steven picked out. So I went shopping with him and I told him I wanted to get one more jumpsuit for this trip. And he really liked this one. So this is Steven's choice. Let me know if you like his choice. <laughs> so it's this black and white checkered pattern. And again, it is, what do you call this? Thin, no sleeved, singlet? Singlet? Singlet, I don't know. The type but of singlet, yeah. Again, they are long pants. <laughs> I've forgotten how to talk. Yes, Keep going. Yeah. 
What you need to know is that I picked it up. That's all you guys need to know. I really bad at explaining, I just realized. They cinch at the waist, so you can choose. That's a fancy word. Cinch at the waist. <laughs> But those are my three jumpsuits. If you do want to see what they all look like, you should watch all the vlogs because you'll see all these outfits throughout the month. Just going to say because I am not putting them all on right now. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> so next I'll show you jumpers and jackets. So one of the jumpers I'm bringing is this one. This is like going to be my comfy hoodie. And also if it's hiking, it's a little bit cold. I'll probably pop this on. But this is our new flying the nest hoodie. Oh, you got to link that below. It's going to be linked below. <laughs> it's only going to be out for probably two or three weeks. So make sure you click it now if you want to grab it. It has the little logo here. And on the back it says flying the nest and it's super um, comfy yeah it's super comfy thanks for the support steve <laughs> <laughs> For jackets, now I hate carrying a lot of jackets. I feel like that's what really weighs your bag up. So I try and choose one jacket that'll go with everything. And for me, that's a denim jacket. I was trying to decide if I wanted to bring a leather jacket or a denim jacket, and I went for the denim. You guys might may have seen this one before. So it's my big one. I got this from an op shop so long ago. It cost me $10. But it's this big, heavy denim jacket with Mickey Mouse on the back. It's like a vintage Disney jacket. I really, really like it. So I'm going to be wearing this with probably all the jumpsuits. And then when I'm wearing the t-shirt, and jeans I have brought two jumpers to wear with those so one is this mustard color from Zara and it has big puffy sleeves I really really like this one except I went out for dinner and I dropped a tomato on it and it is now stained but I'll wear it anyway so there I brought this one and I have also brought a pink one if you watched our Euro vlogs you would have seen this so as you see I kind of wear the same outfit basically until it breaks so um, yeah I'm wearing my pink top with the frill at the bottom. So it doesn't, again, I don't like things that hug my waist and my butt. Like I don't think it looks good on me. So I try and find things that are a little bit more baggier. And I really liked this top because yeah, it frays out at the bottom. I'd never seen a jumper like that before. So that's my other jumper. All right, so that's basically everything I've brought for like those casual city kind of days. And now I'll show you what I'm bringing for our hiking and stuff. So the first thing, of course, is this jumper again and these black tights that I have on. So those will be when it's like a colder day. And then I also really like wearing biker shorts when I go hiking, especially underneath. Can you see this, Steve? Yeah, now you can. <laughs> okay. So underneath these, so when we go hiking, I get really, really hot. So I brought two biker shorts, I'll show you them. So these are, these are them. So one looks like this, and then one is just plain black, like this. So they're kind of like booty shorts, but they're longer. So I think they look a bit better. But I actually like to wear these underneath these leggings. So that means that when we start off, usually I'm quite cold. And then as it gets hot, I can take these long tights off and then I'll just have the shorts underneath and then I can pop those in my bag. And then if I get cold again, I can then put the, the long leggings back on. So I brought two of those, one pair of leggings. I brought three sports bras, two in black and one in a blue. I brought two singlets. One is black. I try and choose things that are basically like black and gray because everything kind of goes together that way. So I'm not that like exciting when it comes to gym workout gear. So I brought this black singlet and also a gray singlet. So those are my two singlets that I can wear when we do any hiking and stuff. And then if it starts to get a little bit chilly, but not too cold, I have this really lightweight jacket. We actually brought this with us when we went to South America and it helped so much. Like it's so lightweight, but it kept you warm. Don't you reckon, Steve? Oh, he yeah. has the exact same one. And it's like- It's about breaking the wind. Yeah, it's about breaking the wind. So this is a windbreak. <laughs> it's called a windbreaker. I just realized it's like inside out. So we like to wear this over the top and it's so light so you can easily just chuck it in your bag if it gets hot. But if it's like a really cold day, then I can wear this hoodie. And I've also brought just in case a beanie, which is my favorite beanie that I just bought when we were in Austria. I got this one and it is super thick because it's like made for full on winter. But um, I think we're going to be doing a couple of boat trips and I always get cold on boats. So I'll probably bring this for that. Um, so that is everything when it comes to the kind of hiking gear. Alrighty, and then for like kind of the bits and bobs, I brought a lot of socks. We just bought some new new ones because I feel like every time we go away, we'll come back, do the washing, and there's no more socks. I don't know why. I feel like there's a sock monster in our house. I always lose them. So we bought a couple of pairs of socks. Steve and I actually share socks. So we just bring a bunch of them and they all look exactly the same. And then, yeah, so we just share the socks that we bring. I've also got this, which is full of undies and bralettes. Now, I actually don't really wear like the bras with the underwire and stuff. I feel like that they waste a lot of room in your bag. So I bring the little, I won't show you them, but I brought little thin bralettes. So I bought about five bralettes 
and I kind of I think I might overpack with the undies because I bring about 14 like two weeks worth because that means that I know I can I don't mind re-wearing shirts but I wouldn't re-wear underwear so I try and bring enough where I can last two weeks without having to do washing and that means I can do a wash in the middle of our trip and then I can wear them all again for the rest of the trip without having to do another wash so I've brought 14 pairs of undies same as Steve actually um, and then I brought just one swimsuit so it's like a one-piece swimsuit it's striped again <laughs> I noticed like how much I have that striped but it's a swimsuit and it is quite open in the back so we're gonna be doing I think quite a few water activities on this trip so I brought two pair of PJs one is a summery set so it's like just shorts it's striped again t-shirt that goes with it which is super creased oh if you guys have any tips on how to make things not crease in your bag please let me know because we are terrible with that and you'll notice Stephen and I forever are wearing really creased outfits because we also hate ironing so we prefer to just wear it crease and then so yeah that's like my summery kind of jammies and then for winter I brought these big comfy pants and then just a t-shirt that goes with it there's my jammy t-shirt you guys know I love my hats and I always try and limit to one hat and I brought my trusty hat that I love and you guys have definitely seen this before I brought my cane hat which I love that's my hat of choice and I've also brought a nice backpack now whenever we go out into the world to explore Stephen has a backpack that has all our camera gear in it and then I hold the drone and if we're bringing like a tripod or a stabilizer so I like to put it in like a nice looking bag so people don't really know what I've got but like I don't want people to know I've got like a drone inside my backpack but this is the bag that I bring for that I don't bring on the plane so I just pack this in my suitcase just to wear when we are walking out and exploring and is this exciting should I show them this we bring a laundry bag so whenever we have dirty clothes we try and separate them because it makes all the new like all the fresh stuff smelly so we put everything into this bag that we stole from a hotel a long time ago didn't well, we a lot of hotels give you that yeah but I wasn't sure if we we're allowed to take it I think so well, hope not. Well, hope we could because I took it because it was a great, nice, big laundry bag. So we bring a laundry, laundry bag. It has laundry on it. That's why I love it. Whenever we go to the laundromat and I give it to them, they're like, oh, I love it. It's very organized. So that's our laundry bag. And then for makeup, everything is in here. And then for the toiletries, everything is in here. So Stephen and I share our toiletry bag. And this is where we keep like shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, shavers, and stuff like that. So that's all in here. If you ever want to see what type of makeup I bring, I won't share it in today's video because that'll get a little bit too long but I've literally worked out my favorite type of each makeup and I only bring one of each so one foundation one concealer one eyeshadow palette because I don't want to overpack in that department so if you want to see what makeup I bring I can do a video in the future if you guys would like to see that one to do my hair luckily I actually have dead straight hair so I never have to bring a straight knife I want straight hair I just have to wash it and let it air dry and it go straight so I only pack a curler because I love having curled hair I feel like if everyone has if you have straight hair you love having curly hair if you have curly hair you love having straight hair so I love having curly hair. So this is the uh, one I use. It is the Babyless Pro. If anyone was ever wondering how I curled my hair, this is a bit messy because it's been like three days ago. I use the one that is thick and then goes to thin. I know it works really well so this is my curler that I bring I also love to travel with tan if you've seen our South America videos you would have seen that I've been having issues trying to work out what tan to bring because they keep exploding and I had one explode all over Stephen's socks and then his feet went orange for about four weeks so I think I found the tan because I've traveled now twice with this and it has not exploded it is the Bondi Sands one hour express self tanning foam this is their new one and when it came out I was like oh that bottle looks different I hope it doesn't explode I tried it hasn't exploded yet even though it's a one, one hour express I would say you should sleep in it it works better if you sleep in it just in case you were interested in trying that one out for my hairbrush I don't know if you're interested in this but I bring this little tiny hairbrush and again it just means that there's less room in your bag and it does the job just like an ordinary brush that has the handle so that's my hairbrush I bring and I do like to bring a little bit of jewelry and I just put it inside a little ziploc bag I try and be really minimal so I just bring one little set of earrings I've got one in now so these are my little gold hoops so it's just like a little set of three that I bring and for a necklace I just bring one it's actually it looks like three necklaces but it's all joined together as one so this is for like when I'm feeling fancy I have a necklace to wear I've also been loving traveling with a Polaroid Stephen actually gave me this as a present when we recently became legally married so a lot of you guys actually asked me how these what do you call these Steve instant, instant film paper? like how the paper goes when they go through x-rays because on the x-ray machine it says it can actually destroy film and stuff but I brought these to Europe and to here and it's working fine so I think that the x-rays actually don't affect these ones 
I also like to travel with a kind of we make our own medical kit. So in here we've got band-aids and Panadol, we've got some vitamins and like little bits and bobs like that just in case something happens. Nothing like major in here, it's more like, you know, headache tablets and electrolytes and stuff like that. And lastly, we travel with this little, this is, what's it called? Like a travel wallet. I would say it's a travel yeah, wallet. Yeah, so Cleo gave me this the first day we ever started flying the nest on our first Did ever she trip. Gave us yeah, that. she gave us this and I've used it ever since and it's still working now. And in here is where you can like kind of put all your documents because it has, see it's like, it's got, it has like little compartments that says tickets, passports, documents and I put everything in here so in here I've got my like, international driver's licenses our these are like our diving certificates so if we go diving we can prove that we're divers our vaccination cards because some countries like you know you have to have your hep B and stuff and our passports and our tickets and everything so that was very handy so thanks clear for that it's still going strong like almost well over three years later it's still working all right and that is now everything inside our suitcase this is mine and Stevens and yesterday when we went to the airport this was 18 kilos and I just also wanted to show you guys I forgot Got that I recommend putting everything into packing cubes because yeah, if I take these salt. out like see how it's all in little packing cubes it makes it so easy so if you like I want to grab my jumpers, jumpers like for the jumpers day. are in there t-shirts I've got like my sports stuff my jumpsuits that's everything that I am bringing so I hope that helped you guys I hope you enjoyed that type of video I haven't done a video by myself in a long time this felt weird you have to come say bye with me <laughs> I like how we're matching jumpers right now um hope you guys enjoyed that <laughs> it's more like we're doing a road trip for a month in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah, so I hope that helped you if you guys are interested in ever going on a road trip in New Zealand. Of course, if you're going in the winter, definitely pack more warm than I did because it's not getting too cold right now. It's autumn. It's autumn. Yeah, just the, right at the beginning of autumn. Basically, it's still summer. Like right now when we go out, I'm probably going to wear a jumpsuit. It's not that cold. No. I just wore this hoodie because I wanted to promote the hoodie. Go get it. <laughs> All right, let's end it. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this type of video, let me know below and I can do more. And um, yeah, hope we have a good time in New Zealand. And if you want Jess to do more videos by herself talking about stuff. <laughs> stuff. <laughs> well, Steven did his tech video. So I was like, maybe I should do that. Yeah, like, so we can mix it up. Yeah. All right, let's end it. Bye. Oh, I'm a little bit of 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 a little b